welcome to City Kids TV Preschool! And today, I think we should first start by doing our welcome song. If you know it, join in. Are you ready? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends in circle time, we clap and say hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends in circle time, we wave and say hello. We stamp and say hello. We stamp and say hello. With our friends in circle time, we stamp and say hello. We whisper and say hello. We whisper and say hello. With our friends in circle time, we whisper and say hello. Hello everyone. Good morning City Kids Preschool. Hi, it's Jude again. How are you? I hope you've had a really lovely week. So today, we're going to look at something that God did. But first of all, I want to talk to you about how do we know that God is even real? That's a quite a difficult question for any age. So, God is definitely real. Would you say this apple is real? Yes, I think we could say that's real. What about this? What's this? It's a banana. Is the banana real? Yeah, look, I'll open it. I'll eat it later, don't worry, I won't waste it. That's definitely a real banana. Okay, and you know that your friends are real, or your grandparents are real, or your carers are real. You know they're real. But how do we know if God is real? It's quite a difficult one, actually. So, I think we can't see God, but we can definitely feel him. And we know when he's talking to us. But it's a bit like, maybe if you think of the wind, you can't see the wind, can you? When it blows, you can feel it, you can hear it, but you can't see it. You can see what it does. So if it's a windy day, what happens? What can you see? Um, so I can see if there are any flags, they're really flapping in the wind. And you can hear the flags actually, and the wind in the flags. Um, the trees, they're not still, they're wavy, so a wavy, wavy tree. Uh, the sea is often much, much different when it's windy to when it's not windy. What is it? It's more wavy, the waves are bigger, they crash. You can sometimes see the white on the top of the waves. You can see the effects of it, but you can't see the wind. So you can see what the wind does. Now, I'm not saying that God is wind at all, but what I'm saying is God is real and we can see what he does and we can feel him and we can hear him. But we can't see him, we can just see what he does. Hello children, my name's Deborah. I'm going to tell you a story today about how, because I know God is real, I listen to him and I encourage lots of people to do what he said. So, where I lived at the time, there were some people called the Israelites. Let's have a look at them. These are my people. These are the people that I live with. Do they look very happy? Really not happy. I'll tell you why they weren't happy. Because some people called the Canaanites were fighting them and being really horrible to them and bullying them. Here are the Canaanites. Do they look happy or sad? They're pretty happy because they want to hurt the Israelites and they want to be horrible to us. One day God said to me, I want you to get all of the people, the Israelites, and I want you to fight the Canaanites and they will lose and you will win. Well, the Canaanites had so many more people and so many more ways to win than the Israelites. They are really worried. I said, God has told me, you are going to win the battle because God is on your side. So the Israelites and the Canaanites had a big fight, big fight, big fight, big fight, big fight. And at the end, do you know what? The Israelites weren't sad anymore. 
Look what have they got? They're happy. And the Canaanites, are they sad? They're sad because the Israelites won. Yay! But they only won because they believed that God was real and they trusted in God and they decided to do what God said. And then they won. And they weren't bullied anymore by the horrible Canaanites. They could live in freedom for the next 20 years. We all lived in freedom. Yeah. So